Today, we will learn about quill and scroll induction, look at seniors' plans, and say goodbye to Superintendent C.D. Knobloch. These stories and more on the May 15th edition of The Wind News. Good afternoon, I'm Isaac Diegas. And I'm Jonathan Clay. Recently, journalism students were inducted into the Quill and Scroll International Honor Society. With more on that in introduction are Brooke Smith, Jalissa Guerrero, and Jonathan Clay. The Quill and Scroll induction took place April 30th. Members are proud to be inducted. You know, it's a great honor to be inducted and uh, it's a great feeling to be held higher, uh, higher standard than everybody else. Okay, I really like journalism and it feels good to be recognized for being a part of journalism. For me, to be in Quill and Scroll, it means to be a good person with integrity and a good worth ethic, and it just makes me feel good because it means I'm doing something right. So. Each member had their favorite part of the ceremony. Lighting all the different candles because uh, they all represented something different, and it meant a lot. When we lit the candles. My favorite part of the ceremony was blowing out the candles and inducting all my little friends. This is Jonathan Clay, Jalissa Guerrero, and Brooke Smith, reporting for Wind News. Thank you guys. It's cool that journalism students are recognized for their hard work and efforts. Last week, the band performed at the Texas Capitol during their trip to Austin. Freshman orientation for all incoming ninth graders will be tonight, May 15th, from 5.30 to 7 p.m. There will be an early release tomorrow, May 16th at 11.30 a.m. Lunch will be grab and go. Look for an email from Ms. Krennic for lunch options. We will not have school this Friday, May 17th. It's our last bad weather day. The band banquet will be at 5 p.m. Saturday at the Activity Center. Finals for 7th through 11th grades will be Tuesday, May 21st in the afternoon with 7th and 8th periods, odd classes on Wednesday, and evens on Thursday, May 23rd. Lunch accounts need to be paid. Students may bring cash or check, or parents can use lunch money now to make payments. Library books are past due. They need to be turned in now. Graduation is next Friday, May 24th. The ceremony will begin at 7.30 p.m. with a slideshow. As graduation is quickly approaching, Kate and Richie, Cassidy Marin, and Clyde Mayo found out more about the seniors' plans. With the school year coming to an end, the seniors share their plans for after high school graduation. Come back here to Archer City, do the work program, and help the teachers out with some stuff, and clean the school and stuff, and be here. I'm going to go to Vernon College after high school. I'm going to get my basics and go to MSU and get a degree in pre-engineering. I'm going to college in Weatherford to be a vet tech. After high school, I'm going to MSU to major in sports media. My plans after high school are going to be, I'm going to go work for a bleacher company for about a year, and then I'm going to go to Vernon College to get all my master's in welding. I plan on majoring in computer science and playing football for the University of Mary Hart and Baylor. My future plans after high school is joining a lineman program out in Lubbock, Texas, and after that I'm going to go another year in, into college and get my associate's degree. My future plans are to go to MSU for my basics and get a degree in biology. I plan to attend Tarleton University and major in nursing. My future plans is to go to Howard Payne go in Brownwood, Texas and go for kinesiology. I plan on getting my degree in physical therapy while getting training at OSDC. My plans after high school are to go to Midwestern for dental hygiene. I plan on going to college and attending MSU. My plans for after high school, I'm going to try and get into a schooling or do an online schooling to become a phlebotomist. I plan on going to Vernon to do my basics and then I'm going to MSU to do radiology. I plan on going to Tarleton and majoring in elementary education. My future plans are to go to Vernon College and finish my basics and then transfer to MSU and I'm still undecided on what I want to major in. My plans after high school are to go to Tarleton, minor in business, and I haven't decided my major. My plans for after high school, I am going to attend uh, Midwestern State University, major in psychology, minor in theater. My plans after high school is to go to MSU for four years and major in music education. I plan on going to Tarleton State University for mechanical engineering. 
my plans and uh, aspirations after high school are to play football. And uh, if I don't uh, end up playing football longer than uh, like after college, then I'll probably be a professional gambler. I'm going to MSU for a business degree and working in my daddy's cabinet shop. I'm going to MSU and I plan on studying mechanical engineering. I'm going to Abilene Christian University and I'm going to be majoring in business associates. I'm going to Tarleton and I will be majoring in animal science. I plan on attending Midwestern State and I'm going to major in nursing. In addition to saying goodbye to the seniors, we must also bid farewell to Superintendent C.D. Knobloch. Here with more on his career is Zach Allen and Trent Howith. Mr. Knobloch shares why he became a superintendent. What's up? I went and told my dad at the end of my sophomore year in college. I said, Dad, I have to make a decision on what I'm going to do with my life. I really want to be a teacher, but I know I want to be a superintendent. Mr. Knobloch explains the best part about being a superintendent. My favorite part, I guess, doing things that have a real impact on students and trying to be, trying to be a good role model. Mr. Knobloch declared he wanted to be a superintendent in college. And so I got into engineering and studied that for a year, learned enough to know, you know, this isn't cut out for me. What do I want to do, and how can I make a difference in the world? Mr. Knobloch came from a small town. I grew up in McGargle, which is in Archer County. It's a very small community that once was large. And uh, when I graduated, I think if, if I open my senior yearbook and count the school photo, because we would do a whole school photo for the high school, on the front steps of school, there were 33 of us. Mr. Knobloch shares some final remarks. I want to say thank you to the families for trusting me, the staff for trusting me, and forgiving me of all the times when I've messed up. That's, that's a big deal. And forgiveness will take you a long way. And uh, I was told at a fairly young age that you don't have to be very big to carry a big grudge and it'll, bear, it'll wear you out. And I firmly believe that. This is Zach Allen and Trent Howarth reporting for Win News. I'm so sad to see him go. Now to the sports corner. Hi, I'm Zach Allen. Last week, the tennis team ended their season at the regional tournament. The boys' double team of Chase Curry and Clyde Mayo and the mixed doubles team of Lake and Cagle and Maria Gonzalez placed fourth. The varsity softball team won their regional quarterfinal championship against Lipan with a 1-0 victory last Friday. This week, the Lady Cats will play at 6 p.m. tomorrow, May 16th in Stephenville against Rysel in the regional semifinal series. The second game will begin at 3 p.m. Saturday with a third game following if needed. That's it for sports news. Thanks, Zach. That's it for the final edition of the Win News. Have a great rest of your school year, Archer City.